A man accused of murdering his ex-girlfriend in 2022 took the witness stand today, and at times the questioning got heated. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has more on the trial of Jonathan Martinez. I didn't see the text. You can sit here and say that I sent those text messages because you didn't witness me send those text messages. You know what? I don't even have to witness it. This evidence is so clear of what you were doing in the car. Tense moments in court today as 24-year-old Jonathan Martinez took the stand in the case against him for the murder of his ex-girlfriend Yasmin Marquez two years ago. In 2022, Marquez was reported missing by her mother, and two months later, the body of the 20-year-old was found in a burned car in Sandoval County. Care QE spoke with her family in 2023. I tried calling her, and she would answer right away, but that day she just didn't answer. On the stand today, Martinez told the jury the last time he saw Yasmin, she was planning on meeting some other people. She said she had to go meet them in the South Valley. He also claimed he lost his phone, and it wasn't him who sent threatening messages. You just deny that you were communicating with her? Like I said, I don't recall ever sending none of those messages. The prosecution presented cell phone evidence to the jury that put Martinez in both the area where Yasmin's body was discovered as well as where her car was found. The facts and circumstances of the case indicate the defendant sent uh, Yasmin Marquez explicit threats uh, with the deliberate intention of killing her. Marilyn Upchurch, CareQE, News 13. Martinez ended his testimony today. The jury will hear closing arguments on Monday.